Perfect. We're going to talk about your Queen's 2019 Championships final. So if I give you this phone here, sure. just tell me what you see as you're watching it. Yeah, this is a very typical thing that they do at Queen's, you know, for the finals. The ball boys, they go down to the court with you and it's very special. You, know? you go down from the locker, everybody's waiting for the players to, to enter the court. It's something very unique and some tournaments they do and it feels, it feels great when you get to that moment. I knew it was going to be tough, you know. Jill is a, is a great opponent, he's a great player and we played many times and uh, most of them we played long matches, so I knew it was going to be tough. Set points for Lopez. Too good, yeah. that kind of serving. And that's been the case so far for the Spaniards. Lopez in charge, takes the opener 6-2. First set was very easy. Uh, I think he was not feeling very good on court. He was serving slowly, and uh, I thought at one point I was thinking maybe he's injured or something. But I didn't. I didn't want to think much about that. I, was, I just wanted to focus on what's going on during the match. And yeah, I was solid, serving well. And of course, when you win a set that easy at the Queen's Finals, you you just want the match to, to continue that way. Combination, big second serve, pulls him on wide of the court, leaves it wide open for the simplest of backhand volleys. Good volley from Lopez, it had a lot of side spin on it. What a lob from Gilles Simon. This is the, the, the clear example that the match was, you know turning around, you know, in a way, because uh, he was returning so good, he was making a lot of balls in play. Three points in a row for the Frenchman. Up against it now, Simon with two set points. Brilliant from the Frenchman. Now he turned that tiebreak around, played the better tennis during the shootout, deserves that second set, and it's anyone's now here at Queen's. Lopez is going to have to gather himself quickly. That trophy was within touching distance. There's a lot more work left to do. The second set was, was tough for me to, to handle because after winning this, the first set so easy, you know, tennis is, is crazy sometimes and second set was uh, completely different and then we went into a third set that I knew was going to be so tough. That's a ball he wanted, it's exactly the position he wanted to be in. Put some pressure on Simon. The tension takes over again. Number four. Yeah, that was a cleaner hit. Second serve popping up, demanding to be struck. And now Lopez has the chance to finish it. Decided he was going to take it on. And the Frenchman forced a few more errors from the Spaniard. And we go into a deciding breaker. It was a lot of things, uh, you know, in my mind. I thought maybe I have to be aggressive, go for it, try to hit a good forehand, and then I think I should have played more safe, play cross court maybe high, and then wait a little bit for the opportunity. Tie break's going to get fairly edgy, fairly nervy. So much stake for both players, pressure. It's 4 2 in the breaker to win another title there and uh, I knew how important this point was. Oh, incredible stuff. How about that at this stage of the match? <laughs> he wants more from the crowd. Double break lead. Is that the moment he'll look back on? Moments of magic from Feli Lopez. Even two points from victory. You let out a huge roar after that. Why? Uh, it's a lot of tension, you know. I was thinking that this point could be, you know, crucial to win the title. So I, I just let myself, you know, <laughs> crazy at that moment. And uh, it was something I, w I wasn't thinking. It was, it was very natural, no? Oh, what a serve. He's almost there. Match point. Ranked 113 in the world, this will be a quite remarkable story to do it. Lopez must feel 
Just there for the taking right now. once more and remember he could still leave with two trophies this afternoon have you got any energy left for another final uh, I don't know I'm gonna speak to Andy now I think he he's gonna be responsible today of uh, you know I remember Andy asking me uh, after the finals how you feel, Feli, going out there and playing another match after such a great battle against against Jill, no? And uh, and I, I was, don't worry, Andy, I'm fine. I'm gonna get a quick shower. I'm gonna get back on court, and uh, I feel good. I feel so happy. So this adrenaline, you know, that that you have sometimes in your body, it fights all the muscles. That of course they are very tired because it was a lot of matches, emotions, a lot of things going on during the week but he was very surprised that I was ready to play again. I think that that was probably the most important win in my career because of everything that happened that, that particular week. I think uh, to win Queens at that stage of my career was, it meant, you know, everything for me because I was nearly 38 years old. Honestly, I didn't expect to be holding the trophy, you know, in that moment, so it was very, very special. Also, the fact that we played doubles with Andy during the week, it was also very important, you know, we ended up winning both titles. Yeah, it was a lot of emotion in that week, especially this one, after all the struggles. It was very, very special. 